if you're not 100% then you shouldn't do it. I'm still gonna do it. It's Call of Duty Live, live on Ustream, recorded with... It's still a great sword. Indeed it is. I hear your Yabuki. A guy named Sky, my goddamn chest hurts. And blue text McFace bacon. <laughs> and and Chibi Chen. Uh, I just noticed something though. There's it, there's no need for me to be here unless there's uh, unless I'm narrating because there's no Bianca lines in this chapter. Well then you're narrating. All right, Ethan. All right. Of the moon, chapter six, the scent of. Oh dear. Hmm. Alright, uh, should I... <laughs> Oh wait, there's noise. Alright. Regular firing rules? Use weapons for pressure only. No, no damaku and physical attacks are the only ones allowed to hit. No way spoke. Everyone agreed. Mommy Zhao initiated the fight by transforming one of her paper shikigami into a copy of herself. With two mommy zows, the two mommy zows made a dash for Okami. One mommy zow swung her tail at Okami, who back flipped out of the way. She attempted to counter with a swing of her blade, which mommy zow dodged easily. This was the real one. Okami could tell because of her scent. The clone mommy zow dashed behind her and aimed a punch at her head. Okami gasped and ducked. In the meantime, Nui had flown out of the air, flown into the air, and flew back down in a dive bomb. Her train aimed at Okami. Where's Nui? Okami muttered to herself. Who's we on? need? We need a mommy's out. I'll do it. Go for I'll it, Shingo. It. Well, mommy clone mommy's out. Uh, uh, it's real. Real mommy's out said. She might just be. Clone mommy's out added right after. Right above your head! Nui finished the sentence and plunged her trident towards Okami, who barely dodged with a swift backstep. While Okami regained her balance, she got smacked in the head by real Mami Zhao's tail. Tail Ouch. attack. Ow. Ow. She, she shouted and was sent reeling. Nui yeah. swung her trident at the disoriented Okami, who lifted her sword fast enough to block the attack. Okami held her head with her free hand as the headache was returning. Stay focused, kiddo. Nui warned, swinging her trident again. Okami blocked the blow again. She kicked Nui in the shin while the, their weapons were locked and Nui stumbled backwards. Okami countered with a right hook to the jaw, which Nui ducked from. Suddenly, Okami felt arms around her waist. She felt herself lifted into the air and brought down onto the ground one, once more, this time on her head. Suplex! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mommy Zhao had performed a suplex on Okami. The young yokai fell onto her side. Wait a second, didn't you draw that? Yeah, yes, you did. It was yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was new. Yeah, it was new. She slowly oh, yes. got to her feet, groaning in pain. Somehow, she still had her sword in her hand. She looked up and Nui was dashing towards her. She swung the. <laughs> she swung her trident towards Okami once more. Okami lifted the blade to block, block the blow, but Nui's trident hit the edge of Okami's sword and continued onwards to pierce Okami's shoulder. Ah! Okami how howled in pain. Nui's eyes widened and she pulled the trident pulled out her trident immediately. Okami's free hand flew to her shoulder and she gritted her teeth. She looked over to her hand to see bloodstains. Her head was suddenly racked with immense pain and the wound felt like nothing. Sorry, Okami. No, I apologized. I didn't mean it. Okami didn't hear her. She felt her knees gripping her head. Okami's vision blurred and she panted heavily. Kill her. There was that voice again. Okami could hear it louder compared to the last time. Kill her. It commanded. Okami let out a groan of pain and shook her head. No, I refuse. 
She growled through gritted teeth. You weakling. If you couldn't kill her, then why do you reach out to me? One second. Alrighty. Okay. Bear with us, folks. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. It asked, its voice dripping with venom. Who are you? Okami asked, gripping her te- her head tighter. Me? How could you not know? You've been with me all this time, haven't you? The voice sneered. You're my sword? Finally, you show some brain cells. Yes, I am your sword, you fool. I thought we were just getting to know each other rather well. You want? I want you to kill her. This new A who stabbed you. Get revenge, you weakling. The voice growled. I can't do that. No, I won't. She... She's my friend. Okami spoke through gritted teeth. Fine. If you can't kill her, then I will. The voice spat. Okami's head hurt immensely once again, and she let out a howl of pain, falling to the ground and holding her head. Nui and Mamizo watched helplessly as Okami writhed in pain on the ground. After a while, the wolf Yokai stopped convulsing and slowly got to her feet, still gripping the blade. Okami looked up and stared Nui's in the eyes. Nui stepped back in terror. Okami's eyes were glowing a blood red hue. Kill you. Kill you. Destroy. Destroy. Die! Okami roared again, louder this time. Wait. Roared and dashed towards Mommy's oh, now. Sorry, I was one too high. I was a couple too high. Okami roared and dashed towards Mommy's out in Nui. What the hell? Okami, what's wrong with you? Nui yelled as she blocked Okami's sword swing with her trident. What's going on with her? Mommy Zhao asked as she pulled out several paper shikigami. I'll destroy all of you! She roared again, louder this time. That's not Okami. Okami's eyes are gold. This person's eyes are far too soulless. Nui remarked, shoving Okami away. Okami slid back a few feet and stared the two of them with bloodthirsty eyes. We have to snap her out of it. Mommy Zhao spoke quietly. But... how? Nui said worriedly. And that was Chapter 6 of Call of the Moon. Oh great, I came back and now I see hypno freaking toad eyed Kami. The toad eyed All hail the hypno Kami! Well, as far as what's going on, a lot of crap is going on. The sword. That sword is yes, being Starlet, bad. The sword is an asshole. That asshole. The sword is a Hasuma. That sword is a <laughs> <All right. laughs> Which right, is ironic it. because which is ironic because Hasuma was also looking for a for a sword. <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry, but I had to relate it to that. <laughs> Again. All hail the hypno kami. Brilliant, Spaz, brilliant. Uh, okay, well, I'm a big liar because I didn't the, read. I think I'll field this question. Normally, the sword is very, uh, very brittle, but the protective aura she had that she came up with in chapter four was it? Uh, three. Three. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything else going on on the stream? Like, We're going to critique stuff, but first let's finish up and stay tuned next week for another exciting episode of Call of the Moon Live! Yeah. 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 Featuring a bunch of derps! And we will <laughs> figure out what happens next time. Yes. Until then, folks. I'm just saying, because I got to...